We will study this time seven fist series. Seven fist series. Lecture number one. Uh, we will study two kinds of uh, Hebrew calendar. First one, it's a lecture. Number one, two kinds of Hebrew calendar. Now, you would ask me, why seven fists? Okay. Uh, here, first of all, why seven fists? Why seven fists? That this seven fist, this seven fist teaches us from the first coming of Jesus to all the way to the end of the millennium kingdom story that we will study later. See, from here, it's the first coming of Jesus. And all the way to second coming, and later it's a, it's a millennium kingdom in the judgment. All these stories, it's about 3,000 years stories. hidden inside of the seven fist. Okay. In other words, in the seven fist, uh, stories from the first coming of Jesus all the way to the judgment stories are hidden inside of the seven fist, which we will study later. At the time, Moses received the seven fist. He didn't know much about that hidden information inside. But later, uh, near the end time comes, which is today, we theologians have discovered this hidden message uh, inside of the seven fist. Okay? So we will discover what kind of information hidden inside of the seven fist. Inside of the seven fist. <clears throat> now, then, when, when this one, when God gave the seven fist to Moses, that is, you see here, in BC 1446, 1446, that is the year Exodus took place. Exodus. Israelis got released from the captivity, okay, out of Egyptian uh, dominations. That was 1446, when uh, Moses was 80 years old. 
I'm not writing on all in the board, but you just write down every information in your note, okay? Now, Moses was 80 years old, okay? Now, one year after the Exodus, one year after the Exodus, which is 1445, one year after the Exodus, God instructed Moses to write down Leviticus, Leviticus. One year after the Exodus, okay? And Moses was instructed by the Holy Spirit to write down Leviticus. In the Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 23, Leviticus chapter, th chapter 23, entire chapter uh, was allocated for the seventh feast. Okay, now at the time, the Holy Spirit, I would say Jehovah God, Jehovah God, actually Jesus. Jesus instructed Moses uh, those seven feasts, which we will study later, okay? So he gave all details uh, with respect to the names and, and what to do and what date and so on. Seven feasts. First feast is feast of Passover. Second feast, the feast of unleavened bread. Third, the feast of the first fruit. And third, fourth, the feast of Pentecost. And fifth, the feast of trumpet. And six, the Feast of Atonement. Lastly, seventh, the Feast of Tabernacle. In this sequence that we will study a little bit more in detail later. Okay. What year was given? One year after the Exodus. Okay. In what chapter? Leviticus chapter 23. So don't forget that. Leviticus chapter 23 is the story of seven feasts. Now, in order to study seven feasts, first condition is that we should understand Hebrew calendar, Hebrew calendar. Hebrew calendar, which is very much essential for all of us to understand what the Hebrew calendar means. Okay? Now, there are two kinds of Hebrew calendars. And two kinds. Two kinds of Hebrew calendars. First is, we call it civil calendar. And second is holy calendar. There are Two kinds of Hebrew calendars. Now, we should understand these two calendar systems in order to understand the Bible, and particularly the seven fist. Now, we will study what is the civil, civil calendar. 
What is the civil calendar? Civil calendar was, it was a original and traditional, traditional calendar, calendar for Hebrew, Hebrews, Hebrews people. Okay, now, up until, up until the Passover day, Passover, which is here, <coughs> right here, up until the Passover means up until the Exodus, which is Exodus chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Exodus chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. In other words, that all the way to BC 1446. You see, Abraham is what? Abraham, BC, 2166. Okay? So you write that down. It's Abraham is the father of Hebrews people. Okay? According to Hebrew history, from this time, even prior to this is Adam, 4114 BC. In the Bible, in the Bible, any date, any date referring to uh, always date was according to this what calendar? Civil calendar. For instance, for instance here, I'll give you one, for one example here. Now here, you will see, it's interesting, very interesting here. Genesis chapter 8, Genesis chapter 8, verse, open your Bible, we see Genesis chapter 8, verse 4. Genesis chapter 8, verse 4. Genesis was written, was written by Moses, right? Moses wrote down particular dates there. Dates as to Ark of Noah. Noah's Ark was landed on the Mount Moriah. Okay. On the seventh day, what day is it? Seventeenth. Seventh month of seventeenth. You know, okay. So it's, a, it's what? July? Seventh month, it's July, isn't it? Seventeenth. According to what calendar then? The civil calendar. Civil calendar day. Why civil calendar? Because that is prior to Exodus. Okay? So any any date okay, written prior to that Exodus 
in the Bible refer to civil calendar. Civil calendar. Now, up until this moment, civil calendar, but very interestingly here, <clears throat> holy calendar was, what is holy calendar then? What is holy calendar? Now, here, at the moment of this Exodus, okay, which is Exodus chapter 12, verse 2. This is a Passover story. Passover day. In Exodus chapter 12, verse 2, Moses was told by Jehovah God saying this, Moses, now, you would create new calendar. Okay, you would create new calendar, new calendar system. This moment of Exodus Okay, will be called January. So now, January 1st. So this is a historic moment as the Exodus ready to take off. God created new calendar. Okay, uh, in the history of Israel, new calendar. Because of this creation of new calendar, in the Jewish society, began to have Two calendar systems. Two calendar systems. Now, not only that, in the Bible, from 1446 BC, which is Exodus, From here, all the way to judgment, okay, here, all the way to judgment, any Date recorded in the Bible. Any date recorded in the Bible was cited by, referred by, referred to Holy Calendar. Prior to 1446, it was a civil calendar. In other words, Exodus chapter 12 is a turning point. Okay? Any, any dates recorded before the Exodus chapter 12 based on what calendar? Civil calendar. Okay, and after the chapter 12, beginning, beginning with chapter 12, Exodus, all the way to end of the Revelation, okay, 
holy calendar was employed. Holy calendar. So in the Bible, there are two calendar systems. What is the turning point? Exodus chapter 12, verse 2. So don't forget that, okay? That is the beginning of Passover. So the Passover became the historic turning point. Passover in terms of calendar system. Passover. We will study further later. Okay, as today, as time goes on, so let me stop right here. First lecture is, what? Two kinds of Hebrew calendars. Are you with me? Yeah, may God bless you. Let's have a short break.